Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of the podcast, Stop Crying Poser, greatest podcast known to man, as voted by Myra, my right nutsack, because I have a left nutsack and a right nutsack. I have four balls, which means I'm very capable of doing what I need to do. Uh, I'm hungover today, guys. I don't want to be here. It's going to be one of those days, one of those podcasts where... uh, we just kind of half-ass it. Are we going to make it the full 45 minutes? Probably not. I don't think there's any chance of that. And the Golden Knights are playing in eight minutes. I was hoping we'd be done by now. By the way, this podcast is starting three hours late. We'll get to that discussion in a little while. Let's start off with a free sticker pack. Oh, boy, free stickers. Who wants to win free stickers? Me, 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 me. Oh, wow. That's a lot of you guys right now. Oh, yeah. Let's shout out everybody who's here in the chat. Zach Eats Games, Joe the Hat Guy, Huge Load Murder Bot, I Can't Read, Schizma Weed, Broski, Sharky Genie, Phase, North Shooter. Appreciate you guys for being here, man. It's it's going to be a real failure. Okay? I hope our I hope <laughs> our hopes are not too high, I book boy. You guys want to win something free? Yeah, I would love to win something free. Okay. Answer this question correctly in the chat, and I will send a free Ninja Lifestyle sticker pack to the American address of your ch- choosing. <laughs> Choo-choo! All right, very simple question today related to uh, America's favorite bullshit. Uh, baseball. You got any baseball fans in the chat? Anyone ever uh, catch a baseball, go to a game and catch a ball? Probably not. It's pretty rare. It'd be, you know, it'd be funny is if, if you caught the baseball, like security ran up and like made you give it back. That'd be the sickest shit ever. Um, okay. We're talking about, uh, stats and shit. What does it mean? Uh, what is RBI? What does RBI stand for? All you got to do is tell me what RBI stands for. Does it stand for ribeye steak? No, it does not. We're talking about baseball, not food. You fucking idiot. Why would you even say that? I didn't say anything. (laughs) <laughs> no one said anything to me. Mr. Broski says, runs bad in. Faze Theo says, Reserve Bank of India. <laughs> I, yeah, I love when baseball players have like a lot of banks in India. <laughs> That's when you know you got a good player on your team. Runs bad in. Mr. Broski, you are the winner. Send me your address and I'll send you some stickers, you piece of shit. Reserve Bank of India. Okay, now the trivia is done. Uh, what are we, fucking two minutes into the podcast? Wow, this is a disaster already. Uh, what did I do this week? Well, I've been, I've been drinking a lot this past two days. Why? I got all my work done, uh, for this week. I got it all kind of done early. So I was like, fuck it, dude. Wednesday rolls around, I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna get drunk on Wednesday. Thursday rolls around, I'm like, well, we're almost to Friday, I might as well get a head start. So, uh, Wednesday I went to this bar called Mango's. It's actually a pretty cool bar. I go into like the back the back area. I'm drinking my vodka soda. There's a big sand pit area, like a big sandy beach. There's no water, but it's a big sandy beach. It used to be a volleyball kind of thing. You go out there, you play beach volleyball. I go out there, I sit in my little uh my little lawn chair. It's nice, cool breeze. Um, there's like a little outdoor bar, but no one's there. Just a big quiet area with sand and cool pictures on the wall and i'm like dude this is nice and uh yeah whatever I get home from that bar like five in the morning say okay fuck it that's wednesday thursday comes around to do the exact same fucking thing <laughs> except uh i went to this dude aaron's house and i went to another bar and then, and then we went to uh so then last night we go to like this uh football bar Hang out there. The bartender's fucking on crack or something. It was it was a really good time actually. Played some pinball. Played a little bit of pinball. Bing 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 bing. That was good. Went home and I uh, woke up late today. I'm like fuck it, dude. I look at the clock. I'm like I gotta do the podcast. And then I go oh yeah, but I also have to sleep. So I chose sleep. And here we are, late doing the podcast with no energy whatsoever. If I lean back right now and close my eyes, I could fall asleep. What else happened in my life? Oh, yesterday, Tex has been telling us for about three and a half years. He said, I'm going to move next week. I'm moving back to Texas. And then he waits another week and waits another week. And then three years goes by and he's still telling us he's going to move to Texas. Is he ever going to do it? I don't know. So yesterday morning, he knocks on my door at eight in the morning. I wake up like half asleep, still hungover. 
And he goes, hey, man, just want to give you a hug before I go to Texas. I'm like, oh, shit, okay, man, it's, 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 now it's getting real. Gave him a hug. Koopa got all sad. Koopa's like, oh, he's leaving. I feel like he could feel it in his little Koopa brain. He's like, oh, that guy's leaving. He's not coming back. Give Tex a hug. Okay. He drives away. I go back to sleep. Then <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, he calls me. Hey, what you doing? Let's go hang out. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Why did you wake me up at 8 in the morning to give me a hug if you're just going to be in Vegas multiple more days? Why? What was the purpose of this of this dramatic early morning hug? <laughs> what was the purpose of this if you're going to still be hanging out? So that was cool. I got to lose some sleep over that. Asian John's in town. Oh, Asian John rarely pisses me off, man. Also, Asian John rarely gets shit hammer drunk. So let me let me start the story by saying Asian John rarely gets drunk. He's one of my best friends. He rarely gets drunk. He might have a couple drinks here and there. He rarely gets drunk. He also rarely pisses me off. Last night was one of those ra even rarer moments where he did both. So I'm hanging out here. Uh, I got some stuff to do at the house. I was busy until 10 p.m. 10 p.m. rolls around. I say, okay, fine. I'm done with my work. Asian John, what's up? He says, come to this fucking thing. We're doing a party over here. Uh, you know, I'm in town. I got all my friends over here. We're doing a party at this uh, this little event area. I go, okay, cool. Are you going to be there all night? Because it's a long drive. It's a really long drive for me. I don't want to drive across town if you ain't going to be there all night. You guys probably already know how the story ends. He goes, no, we're definitely going to be here. Hurry up. Come on down. I say, cool. Do you guys need anything? I'll grab some beer. I had to get some gas because it was so fucking far of a drive. My fucking car ran out of gas. I drive all the fucking way across town. I get there. It's, the place is closed. I'm like, John, what the fuck is going on? I call him. He's like, oh, yeah, we went to this other house. I'm like, oh, oh cool. I'm like, where's that at? He sends me the, the address. It's back towards the direction I came from. I'm like, dude, no. Here's, here's how I like self-regulate. Basically, what I did is I said, you know what? If I go over there, if I, I drove all the way over here, I'm already in a bad mood. If I drive over there, I'm going to be in a, a bad mood. I'm going to be salty and be mad. I'm going to take it out on John and be a dick to him. And I don't know any of your friends. He's got his other group of friends, people I don't know. So you know what? Nah. I'm going to go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm like, fuck no, I'm not going over there. Because if I show up in a bad mood, what, what positivity could come from that? So I went to another friend's house since I was already over there, this dude Aaron. And we played Jackbox. That's where he carves a hole in the bottom of a box and I jack off the magic snake and then we just find out what happens. No, I'm kidding. It's like an, it's an internet game like uh, where you, <laughs> it's an internet game where you like guess things and draw things and you act out little things and do trivia. Went over there, man, laughed my whole ass off, changed my whole mood and the whole time. John's, Asian John's texting me like, hey dude, are you coming to this house? Are you coming to this house? And I'm just ignoring him because I'm fucking still salty. And then he starts hitting up Aaron, the dude who, whose house I'm at. Just randomly like, hey, did you, did you see Steve? Man, we had this idea. We should have just told him I got in a car accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was going to go see you, but he fucking, he got in a really bad car accident. Dude, I think his fucking arm's broken. <laughs> his leg is fucked up, dude. You should have you should have just been at the place you said you was going to go to. Otherwise, we'd still have Steve around. Ninja Lifestyle would still be alive. If you didn't be such a bitch and change the locations of the party, that's crazy, you selfish Asian bitch. <laughs> but we didn't we didn't say any of that stuff. That would have been funny though. I think it would have been funny. So that's uh, Asian John's in town. Texas gone. Rode my skateboard uh, two days ago. Man, what a disaster skateboarding was. I look at myself in the mirror sometimes and I go, "Oh damn, you're getting you're losing a little bit of weight. That's good." Like. Keep it up. Keep up the don't eat so much junk food. Keep doing your little push-ups and your squats and shit. Do your dance dance revolution. Damn, you're losing some weight. That's pretty cool. I got on this fucking... <laughs> I got on this skateboard, dude. I felt like I was 400 pounds. I tried to do the most basic, easy-ass trick, and I could not for the life of me land it. Oh, it's it's so frustrating. Here's Here's my thing. I hate being bad at things. I hate not being good at things. Just general things. Anything. It could be... 
I'll tell you a story. One day I was downtown. I was playing cornhole. That's this game where uh, one person bends over and you spread your ass cheeks as, as far as you can apart. And the other person gets to punch you in the asshole as hard as you can to see how much shit gets on his wrist. I'm joking. Cornhole's like this, uh, it's like this bar game. <laughs> it's like this bar game <laughs> where you throw, a, you throw a, a bean bag onto a square and you try to make it into like the hole. I don't know why it's called cornhole. <laughs> You throw this beanbag, dude. One day I'm I'm just getting killed on this beanbag game. I put twenty bucks down, I lose. I put forty bucks down, I lose. I get so fucking mad. I <laughs> I got so fucking mad that I fucking walked home, like <laughs> like I had <laughs> I had a vehicle. I could have drove home. I was so insanely mad that I was bad at a game that I fucking walked home like from anger, like a fucking child. <laughs> I was so mad. I hate being bad at things. So I'm I'm trying to skateboard this week and I'm just dude, I'm I'm just bad again. I feel like I, f I just feel like a fat slob piece of shit idiot. Couldn't do nothing, man. Skating's depressing. I think like I always say like, oh man, it's just me getting old, man. This this is the bad part about getting old. But it's also like, well, this is also the bad part about eating pizza and and shit and drinking beer for the last 10 years. It's not getting old. It's you just being bad. At being healthy and um, <laughs> you know what you know what YouTube comment really annoys me is the ones that are like kind of true you know if somebody calls me like a piece of shit idiot I'm like okay <laughs> you're dumb but if somebody's like hey dude if you didn't drink so much you wouldn't be so fat I'm like that shit pisses me off because you're actually right and I'm like thinking of something mean to write back, but I'm like, nope, I can't write nothing mean back because that that was a logical deduction, young man. <laughs> like you piece of shit, fucking fifteen year old. Ah, whatever, dude. It's one of those days, man. It's been a long day already. I've only been awake for like two hours. It's seven p.m. What the fuck is wrong with me? Throwing my life away. All right, I don't know what we were talking about. Uh, cornhole and I suck at skating. Basically, I suck at skating. That's that's like the common theme right now. One day I'm gonna be skinny again and I'll be good at skating. You know what I did do this week? I tried to make authentic Japanese ramen. Holy motherfucking shit, dude! That is a hard. That is a labor intensive dish to make authentically. And I took a bunch of shortcuts. Like I took a bunch of shortcuts. And still, I actually fucked it up, dude. Here's the thing, America. The recipe called for unsweetened soy milk. I go, okay, I don't know what the fuck that is, but I go to the store, and I see, uh, okay, soy milk, what bullshit soy milk, blah, blah, soy milk, and I see, oh, plain soy milk. I think to myself, oh, shit, unsweetened soy milk. Man, things that are unsweet, they seem kind of plain. Plain soy milk must be the same thing as fucking unsweetened soy milk. Plain soy milk, unsweetened soy milk, seems like they're the same. No, I fucking used it. It fucked up my whole dish. So I make this ramen, perfect texture, perfect color. Oh man, it's it's looking good. I put all the shit on top of it. Mmm. I get the noodles made, the special ass noodles that I had to get from a special ass place. I'm put dr drizzling chili oil. I got the green onions, I got the chashu that took two fucking days to marinate and tied it up into a little ball and I had to freeze it and remarinate it. Man, and then I get the, the kimchi I had to go buy from the store. I open this fucking kimchi bottle, it explodes on me. <laughs> it was like, if you ever shook up a beer or a soda or something, yeah, it's cool, but because when soda spills on you, you're like, oh, damn, cherry flavor. Kimchi fell on me, I'm like, oh, cool, I smell like fermented cabbage. Mmm, that's fucking sick, piece of shit. Spill all this shit on me, do all this work. I fucking, I get the bean sprouts. I try to open this bean sprout box. The whole box fucking explodes. Then I get in there. I set it all up. I take a picture. I go, mmm, damn, this this authentic Japanese ramen is going to be bomb as fuck. I dip my little fucking spoon in there because I don't fucking have chopsticks for some stupid ass reason. I taste the broth. I go, oh, this tastes like complete absolute fucking garbage. It's because the soy milk was the wrong type of fucking soy milk. I got this sweet ass milk, a sweet milk ramen. Oh yeah, if your stomach's hurting, imagine mine. Sweet, sweet milk mixed with fucking pig fat. It, it, it looks good. The picture looked good. I, I'm not telling everybody what happened. It, it tasted like fucking shit. It'd be like if you had ramen and you go, mm, this is delicious. And then you poured like... I don't know, like 50 tablespoons of sugar into it. And you're like, oh, 
Well, that was a great way to ruin something good. That's what I did. I ruined something good. Pissed me off, dude. Oh, and it was so much work, and it took so long, and I made too much fucking pork, dude. What a disaster. I'm trying not to be, like, sad about this dumb shit. Also, when I bought all those ingredients, something about me and food lately. It's funny. I was just talking about being fat. I went over there, man. I got I got this fucking octopus ceviche. I was like, dude, yeah, I want, I want something, like, hearty to eat right now that's kind of healthy that I can eat quickly. I got this big-ass thing of ceviche. I don't know what in my motherfucking brain possessed me to think that I could eat two pounds of seafood but you you physically you cannot do that so i eat half of it it's already gone bad i got some fucking slow cook some chicken that shit's gone bad i just this whole week i've just been wasting food it's uh i don't know why it bothers me so much because it, it wasn't it really wasn't that expensive you know it's not like it's not like i'm wasting you know fucking filet mignon but i feel bad for wasting this food i just feel like uh like a bad member of society, wasting food, man. I'm gonna take, <laughs> I'm gonna take this ceviche. I'm gonna dump it out in the garden. <laughs> My whole backyard is gonna smell like fucking shit. But I don't care. I don't know how gardening people like what they do with like food and shit in their garden. You know, some people throw like banana peels and shit in their garden. I don't know what that's about. But <laughs> if I have any type of food that just seems natural, that it's not like not spicy or whatever, I just dump that shit in my fucking garden. <laughs> speaking of the garden man i still have two pepper plants that i have no fucking idea where they came from they just decided to start growing and also i walk out there the other day i'm looking around i go oh fuck what the hell is this a little cilantro plant just just appeared a little pokemon a little cilantro just started growing i'm like damn that's kind of crazy cilantro just you just laid dormant for multiple years and then suddenly the seed that i planted fucking four years ago decided to sprout a little cilantro plant i know it was cilantro too because i grabbed it i said oh that looks like cilantro and i was like let me fucking actually just eat this wild fucking shit growing out of my growing out of my backyard imagine if it was poison maybe it is poison maybe that's why my fucking brain hurts so much today maybe i ate poison cilantro dude speaking of cilantro a lot of people don't like cilantro man i love me some tortilla soup that's what i want to make you know what Maybe next week I'll mix tor uh, tortilla soup. I did a cooking with Ninja on tortilla soup. A thick, thick tortilla soup, man. It's fucking good. And uh, if you guys want to copy my recipe, it's somewhere, somewhere out there on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's the end of the podcast. I have nothing else on my list, and I've, I don't want to fucking talk to you guys anymore. I really, I really want to go watch this fucking Golden Knights game. I really just want to get off the computer. I want to stop talking because every time I talk, my brain hurts a little bit more. I appreciate everybody for hanging out, man. Sorry I couldn't make it more entertaining. All I did was talk about food, Asian, how much Asian John is a bitch, and skateboarding. Feet, my feet were in sand, and I suck at making ramen. Great podcast, idiot. Well, you know what, dude? I'm not perfect. Or am I? Hope you guys have a great weekend, dude. I, um, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Maybe, maybe just too much, like, letting loose. Too much letting loose, you know. I need I need to be grounded. I need to be grounded. Not like you're in trouble, you're grounded. But maybe I do need to be grounded. <laughs> maybe I have to be put in the corner and spanked. <laughs> oh shit. Anyways, I appreciate everybody for hanging out. Go ahead and uh, give me a hell yeah in the chat so I can shout out you guys. Uh, there was not very many viewers today because my scheduling was all fucked up. But I do appreciate those of you who did tune in. Joe the Hat Guy subscribed. Zach Eats Games threw a subscribe. Mr. Broski won the trivia. Schism of Weed, I can't read. iBook Boy, Venus Die Traps. Joe the Hat Guy, iBook Boy, Sharky Genie, North Shooter Phase, Theo, Infamy. Appreciate you guys for hanging out. If you missed, if you missed the podcast, like, like you guys could have missed any of this. It's only like 20 minutes long. If you missed it. The repeat of this show goes on YouTube, iTunes, and Podbean. That happens on Sunday. You guys can always tune in live, though, every single Friday, right around 3.30 p.m. Pacific time, right here on twitch.tv slash Ninja Lifestyle. I appreciate all you guys for being here. Uh, I appreciate the subscribes and the, the no donations today. That's kind of fucking weird. Thanks, assholes. You know what? I don't deserve it. But guess what? Even if you can't donate, that's okay. You know what you can do? You piece of shit, broke boy. 
You can tell a friend. You tell a friend about the podcast. You spread the love. You spread the joy. Right? That's how COVID got so big. And, and people, everyone knows what COVID is, but nobody knows who Ninja Lifestyle is. So that's your fucking fault. Thanks, assholes. Appreciate you guys for being here. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will catch you guys next time. Let's play that motherfucking outro. Motherfucker, damn it. What?